Okay, folks, usual disclaimer, just making this video for myself as a reminder for later in case I forget this. But uh, yeah, maybe somebody finds it useful. So I'm going to show how to um, do masking of different um, objects in the compositor using render layers and the alpha nodes. Okay, so let's uh, first delete this square. Let's go into top view, press eight. Let's define our camera and let's create some shapes. It's a circle. Let's go into edit mode, press F to fill it out of edit mode. Let's give it a material. A nice yellow, let's go into render mode so we can see it. Let's create another shape, which will be a plane, which is the square let's move it over here. Let's also, whoops, over here, give that a material as well. Okay. So um, the first thing we need to do, thing we need to do is going to need to put these into their own, first into their own uh, collections and then into their own uh, view layers. So first I'm going to click the square, I'm going to hover over the outline, I'm going to press M and then new collection. Let's call that square, enter and enter again. And now you can see that this is a collection square and it's put the plane into it. We can close that. Now we're going to click the circle, same thing, hover over M, new collection, let's call it circle. Okay, and again, it's put it into the collection. Okay, we're going to go up to a view layer here, click on this button, it's a new layer, so new, I'm going to name this one circle. And then again, new, and then this one, square. Okay, and the way this works is in the square view layer, we only want to see the square. So we uncheck this view layer, view checkbox, and then we go to circle and uncheck the square. And then we still, of course, have this view layer here, which shows both. We'll just call this one all. And we're going to stay in that one to view them. Um, okay, we don't need the outliner for now, so I'm going to hide that down a little bit. Let's pull out a new um, window over here, and we're going to actually do even another one. Okay, so this one in the middle, we're going to do make it our, go into the compositor right here. We don't need this. Let's press N. And over here, we're going to go to image editor. Okay. Um, okay, so use nodes. <clears throat> okay, so the way this works is the, the render layer is going to bring in, um, if I select here, circle, and of course I have to press F12 to render it. Basically what it's done is it's, it's brought in the circle to the, to the render layer, and then it's compositing it via here, and I set it to show the view, the, the result of the composite over here. If when you press, press F12, you get that pop-up window, um, you can go into, let's see, you won't see this now because OBS won't show it. Uh, one second. Um, well, it's it's in the settings, it's in the preferences. You can change it so that it doesn't open your window. It just shows it over here. Okay, so I'm going to do Control C, Control V, put that one down. I'm going to select over here the square. Okay, so first thing we want to do is you want to just view them one layer over the other. So we're going to select our, we're going to what is a control A and then S and then type alpha, alpha over. No, that was the wrong one. Alpha over. Okay, bring that one in here, bring that one in here. Okay, now we only see the square. Why is that? Well, because 
in our render settings, we have to go down to Film and click Transparent. Now we see it's transparent here. If I press F12 again, now we see a transparent background. Otherwise, the blue didn't have a transpar transparent background, so you couldn't see whatever is underneath it. Okay, so slightly unintuitively, it's the thing that's plugged into the bottom that's showed on top. So if I press Control and drag this one over to this one, they swap over. So now the yellow is going into the bottom and the yellow is on top. Okay, true the other round, of course, it should be the top one is on top, but whatever. Okay. Um, now let's imagine that we want to start doing some other kind of masking. Let's say we want to, for instance, see only, um, we only see on the blue square. We only want to see the part of the blue square which is not overlapping, and we don't want to see any of the yellow square. So for that, we do Control A, S, and then Set. We need Set Alpha. I'm going to plug that in there. And then here, we, and so in, in the, into the Alpha, we're going to bring in what we want to basically uh, remove. Okay. So we're going to remove this. We want to remove the. What did I say? We want to remove the circle. Okay. So we bring in, we grab the alpha from here, and we drag it to here. Okay. Now that's not giving us what we want. The reason being, if I just pull this for a moment over, we can see what's. This is this is the mask. We want to we want to reverse that. So we do uh, search invert. Nope, mistake. Invert. And if I just plug that in there, we can see it's inverted it. Okay. But this is not what we wanted to do. We wanted to wait, let's delete that. We wanted to plug that into uh let's undo that. We've now Yeah. So we've now deleted the circle and we're only seeing the blue part which is not overlapping. But unfortunately we've got this ugly yellow line. I'm not too sure what that is. Um, but the, the, the workaround that I found is to, if I do click on the invert and I do control delete, it will delete it, keep the connection, I do control C and then color ramp. This is basically going to do the same thing. If we swap these over, it does the same thing, but now you see we can, with this one, we can remove that ugly yellow edge. Okay, let's just delete that, uh, delete that. Let's say now we want to have, um, we just want to see the part which is in, where they intersect. So this part here, I'm going to see that in yellow. So we do control uh, set alpha, plug that in here. Let's move this slightly out of the way. Okay, so we want to first remove, um, we want to remove the square. So let's bring that in. Okay. And now we also have to only, and next we want to only keep the yellow. So we need another set alpha, so just control C. Control V that, bring that into here, and bring in the alpha of this one here. Yeah, so now we've uh, masked out. Yeah, everything apart from this, and now, and now imagine we want to we want to do the same thing, but instead we want it to be blue. Well, that's simply done by bringing the blue, because they're both. Inter this is the part where they both intersect. So the blue is is there underneath. We just can't see it. So that's simply done by just grab coming over here. Reversing these, <clears throat> and now we can see um, our uh, yeah, just the blue, and yeah, again, um, we have this ugly yellow line. So again, the only way seems to be with the color ramp. I always forget which way around it is.
No, it's not here. Where is it? I think it has to be down. It has to be down here, maybe. Yes. See? Yeah, so that kind of covers the basics of masking uh, in the compositor. Probably a bit of a messy tutorial. Sorry about that. I was just uh, um, just wanted to get this done before going to bed. So that's it. I hope somebody found this useful and check you later.